Today we're here to commemorate another milestone in the series of green initiatives, the groundbreaking of Birth 200 West Basin Rail Yard. Now nearly a decade ago I gave uh, the port a very clear uh, directive. Clean up the air uh, and the water. Let's green the port, uh, but let's grow it. And last year the port's emission report card showed continued progress in the fight to reduce pollution from the ships and trucks moving cargo through our harbor. Harbor emissions have fallen 76 percent since 2005 and in 2011 the emissions drop was 7 percent from the year before. We have the best rail infrastructure in the country, but in order to stay competitive, we need to continue to make investments um, to keep the cargo here, keep the jobs here, and keep the Port of Los Angeles the number one premier gateway. This piece of land represents thousands of new local good paying jobs here in the 15th district and throughout the region. Yes, I feel good. I've seen the, the improvement in the area of all the work that's been going on in the harbor and it feels really good to be part of it. Moreover, this project is a marvel of cooperation between all levels of government. Look around at the breadth of representatives here today from the local, state, and federal levels of government, as the mayor indicated, all of whom have partnered together to move this project forward. Let's give every one of those representatives from all levels of government a round of applause and thank them for their support. The Port of Los Angeles is one of the greatest assets we have. It's an economic engine for the region and the model of environmental stewardship. The new West Basin Rail Yard not only gives our great port the capability to grow and handle more cargo, which we need if we're going to put people back to work, but it will also allow it to grow in an environmentally responsible way.